Hello and welcome. It's Brian McCarthy here from Bold and Break. I am very excited to welcome back Kevin O'Shea, who is sharing a tutorial with us. This tutorial comes off the back of an NFT he sold recently. I'd like to congratulate Kevin. He's had a very successful year. He has a feature in Motionographer. If you don't know what that is, I am judging you right now. So go below and check out the link and definitely check the rest of Kevin's work. A link to his NFT and a link to his work is in the description below. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share your feedback. We love all that stuff. Let's get started. This one is very cool. All right, lads, Kev O'Shea here with Bold and Break. Today I'm going to break down how I made this. Okay, and the first thing that we do is we create a plane. We set this to be 10 by 10, segments to be one each. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to drop the black material on one and white on the other just to show us what we're doing. We're going to drop these both inside of cloner. On the cloner we're going to switch to be object. Next step we make a spline. And it doesn't really matter where you put these points because we're going to manually adjust them. I'm going to zero out the X and make it 180 on the Z and to zero these out. So it's exactly 180 percent meters long. We're going to set the cloner to go on the spline and the count to be 18. We're going to set the rate to 10 and we give that a play just to see how it's working. That's grand. Okay so we're going to make another cloner and we're just going to swap these around create another cloner and take these two cloners and drop it in and we change it to linear and we want it to be 10 on the X and we're going to make this 54. This is going to act as our chessboard. Okay, next we drop that inside of a null and in the null we put a bend object. Now the bend parameters are going to be 1 by 40 by 10 and we're going to rotate this 90 and negative 90 with a strength of 80. I'm going to take our spline and we're going to move backwards on the Z by about 15. Next we create a circle Make it XZ, set the radius to be 100. And inside the null, we're going to drop a spline wrap. There we go. And we're going to put it after the bend. We're going to drop this in the circle. Okay, so you can kind of see how this is going to work, but obviously it's going the wrong way. Select these two cloners, the rate at negative 10. We go with reverse the sequence. We're going to take this spline and adjust it. Leaving that 20 is fine. We're going to take the bend instead and we're going to move that to say 30. Now, the next thing we want to do is create a surface for the dynamics, which is what those chess pieces are using to fall into the hole. We'll pause this and we'll create a cube just to test 10 by 10 by 10. Let's zip that up. And just bring it over here. So we're going to add a rigid body onto that. Okay, and we're going to create a collider body for the null. Okay, so you can see the problem here is that it's treating this as a solid object. We can try a different technique or we put it on the individual planes. See how that works. 
but again, we're not getting the desired result. So what we're going to do is remove these, and we are going to create another cloner and another cube. I'm going to drop the cube in here. And we're going to change its dimensions to 18, 8, and 1. So we end up with a flat surface like that. I'm going to take the cloner, change the object. I'm going to take this now and drop it inside the connect. And the connect object is going to be the cloner surface. We change it from surface to polygon center, take transform, and negative 0.5. Positive 0.5? There we go. And we are going to set the simulation collider to be these cubes. So if we hide these and press play, there you go. It's going to start dragging into the center. And because this is now connected as one object, you can also drop it inside the subdivision, which will give us some nice smooth curves. Okay, and that was pretty much it. The rest is just simple modeling and texturing. Uh, there's several great render tutorials on here that'll help you achieve whatever look you want. Cheers.